In this video, I'm going to share with you if and if so, how psilocybin has cured my depression. My name is Alice, I'm from a whole new high. Welcome to our channel. So psilocybin, magic mushrooms, is a substance that has received a lot of attention lately because it has had amazing effects on people with depression, especially people with uh, treatment resistant depression. It uh, improved life of lots of the study participants and it was a very high number of improvement, significant improvement of their life. So lots of people that have a depression and don't know how to heal it and do not want to be dependent on medicine for the, for the rest of their life um, are very interested in using an alternative approach and psilocybin, magic mushroom or magic truffles um, feel like a solution that maybe would improve their life. So I want to share today um, how it was for me and if it healed my depression or not. And I can tell you already from the start that it helped me tremendously, but it did not, not that alone, heal my depression. So I want to first tell you a little bit about the kind of depression that I used to have because I was uh, at the beginning of my 20s, that's when it first started. Um, I don't know, I actually already started in the late teens. But beginning of my 20s, I had like very regular episodes. And I would always go into um, overdrive, being super excited about a project. And once I finished it, I would fall into the depression. That would last sometimes weeks, sometimes months. And during that time, I had absolutely no energy. I was crying almost every day and I didn't even know what I was crying about. The world felt like a dark place, like nothing meant, like everything was pointless. Um, I still had the connection to my boyfriend at the time. So that was something that I could still hold on to. But anything else, it just, I didn't really care about um, like going out, like one day I really tried to push myself to go out and I returned home because I was crying so hard in the car because it just didn't want to go, it didn't feel like it was going to be fun, it was pointless, I didn't want to see these people even though I liked them. Um, it was very hard to wake up in the mornings, um, I'd sleep a lot and then it was very hard to go to sleep at night. and. So my sleeping rhythm would get completely out of hand and yeah, and the energy levels were extremely low and it was just, I had no motivation for nothing and that would last weeks or months and yeah, everything just seemed futile and, and also very often I had the thought that nobody loves me. And I'm all alone, even though sometimes I really felt that when I was with my boyfriend. So then after several weeks or several months, I would just naturally drift out of that a little bit. I would get a burst of inspiration and start doing something again. And, and then would be so in, into the doing that I would forget about all these thoughts. And I would get very excited about doing something. But I could never just be and feel good. I always had to do something to feel good. Because that would, as I later learned, with the help of psilocybin and other methods, I would just feel like I was worth th something if I was actually doing something that would prove that I'm worthwhile. And if I don't do anything, then I'm not worth anything. So that's the kind of depression I used to have. Um, fortunately, I don't have it anymore. What I have now is some days of low energy where I can really be with myself. And um, yeah, it never lasts more than several days. Usually it's just one day. Um, in cases, like in times of very high stress, it has happened that 
it's like a week or two that, that I'm very aware and I can lead myself through it and I do not think things are futile anymore and sometimes I still have that thought that I'm not all alone in the world but at the same time I have the awareness that that's very old trauma a wound that's coming up and I take care of the part of me that thinks that in that moment and that makes it a lot better so I do not consider myself depressed anymore and I've never taken any medicine because I never wanted to go on any medicine that you have to take for the rest of your life I would never do that and when I first took psilocybin which was about 10 years ago I did not know that it was a substance that could help with depression I had no idea I just wanted to take it because I had been very very judgmental of substances and I was very scared of losing control that um, a very good friend of mine had started taking psychedelics consciously especially um, magic mushrooms as well as ayahuasca and he would come to me and share his insights with me and they were mind-blowing and I was still very judgmental and I thought well you can't be that judgmental if you've never tried it so go try it at least once and so I tried it with him and I've had the best day I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders I felt like a child again I was like all my conditionings were gone for the day and so I realized oh my god this is how I actually feel inside and when I feel depressed that's all the conditionings all these noise all these beliefs that are like going around my head that are making me miserable that are making me suffer I really realized that that day I also realized that we were in the forest and I saw this tree that was standing all alone and it was it was suffering a lot and I went to the tree and I knew I felt that this tree was me that's how I felt inside and I hugged the tree and it gave the tree love and then I realized that the tree was surrounded by lots of other trees that were supporting him and I hadn't seen that at the beginning when I saw the tree so it was a very significant moment for me that very first psilocybin and uh, magic mushroom experience um, but it did not heal my depression completely but it did improve my life a lot because now I had the awareness of what was causing my depression and now I had to find a way to deal with all these thoughts and all this conditioning in my head and psychedelics was one way not only psilocybin I have I tried LSD I tried MDMA MDMA I found extremely helpful to change beliefs um, for me personally um, I've tried ayahuasca um, and other other ones like you can look through the videos I have I have a whole um, range of psychedelics that I've tried and they have all really helped me on the journey but only psychedelics I don't think would have gotten me to where I am now it was the combination of combining psychedelics and um, especially psilocybin is really good for depression because it gives you that feeling of oneness and connection and it opens you to your, your true self inside of you and gives you that moment of not being depressed and remember what that feels like so that's a really important one the others are also really good um, but when you come back it's very important that you integrate the lessons if you don't integrate the lessons if you don't change your life around your depression will come back and it did for me every time a little less but it took me a while to fully work on the depression or fully let go of the depression but I also didn't have anybody to guide me through who had done it before back then nobody was talking about psychedelics could help for depression now lots of people are talking about it but back then I had to experience it myself 
And what I found the most helpful were inner child work, inner child work to, uh, and parts work, which is also similar to inner child work. It's where, as I mentioned before, when you go into a depressive moment, when you think you're all alone and nobody loves you and you're, yeah, you're just in this darkness, dark space, to remember in that moment you also have a part of yourself that doesn't feel that way. It knows that you're connected, knows that you're loved, knows that you can love, that, that the world is beautiful. So you bring in this part or your eternal self, your higher self, and you speak to the part that feels all alone. And you become the parent that this part never had. The, you become your own parent. So in a moment where I feel all alone, I recognize that that's a part of me that is, is, a, that is, a, that is stuck in the past. And this part really experienced reality that way as a child. And that's not to blame my parents, but as a child, there are many actions from your parents that you can't understand. And children always make it about themselves. If the parent doesn't have time for them, they will think it's their fault and that something is wrong with them. So me as a child, I thought something was wrong with me. I'm not lovable, I'm not worthwhile, I'm only worth something if I'm the best at school, the best in my class, the best at riding horses, the best at dancing. If I'm the best, then I'm worth something. But if I'm not the best and if I get tired, when I'm tired, I can't be the best, I'm worth nothing. That was the belief that I, I uh, internalized as a child over and over and over again. And this belief would come up and would make me depressed in my adult life. And I was so unaware of what was happening. I just became that child again and was stuck in it. And now I have learned through parts work and inner child work is how to nurture that child and how to hold that child. And you sit there, you close your eyes and you imagine your inner child and you imagine yourself as an adult and you're holding that child. You're telling the child that you love her. And um, this is uh, like, the, I'm just summarizing here what I'm doing. Like, if you want to know more, let me know. I can do another video about inner child work or even a whole course about inner child work because that is, um, it's, it's a very um, helpful tool to have. I mean, it's more than a tool. You can't just call it a tool because it's really real. And if you have ever done it in the moment that you were depressed, you will understand how amazing it is and how much that will change and turn around your beliefs and how much easier it is to come out of the moment of deep depression when you do this inner child work slash parts work. So yeah, that is actually how I healed my depression. It was a combination of psychedelics and inner child work and parts work. So that was a big part of how I healed my depression was psychedelics, inner child work slash parts work. But also very, 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 very important is to change things in your life because you are not depressed for no reason. There is always, the, the, it's often our internal system trying to communicate to us that we are in an abusive relationship, that we are maybe in an abusive friendship, emotionally abusive, not physically abusive. Physically abusive is something that we often know because it's very obvious. It physically hurts, but if it hurts emotionally, we don't always recognize that. We don't always recognize if we are overstepping our boundaries, because we have always done it. That can make you depressed. 
I have a great analogy is if, if you take a plant, absolutely healthy plant, and then you put it in a room where there is no light and you don't give the plant water and then you leave it in there for several weeks and you come back into the room and the plant is like dying. And now it's not the plant that has a problem. It's that the environment that the plant was in was not nourishing. That's why the plant is dying. And that's very often what happens with depression is the environment is toxic to the person. And it can be very little things and it can be um, that this person is surrounded by loving people, but that it's very toxic towards your, that you're toxic towards yourself. But something needs to change in your environment that is making you depressed. That's for sure. And the people who understand that, they come out of a psychedelic journey um, and often actually receive real messages of what needs to change. If they do these changes, the times, the, the chances of them um, healing the depression are like, so much higher than if you don't make any simple changes. If, if you think you can just come and take a psychedelic a psilocybin magic mushroom journey or ayahuasca and go back to your old life and not change a single thing and you can heal from the depression, that is very, very, very rare. It happens, um, but it usually requires some effort from your child, from your side to, to um, change your life around. So I want to tell you what I changed in my life. I had to let go of some abusive relationships. I thought that these were loving relationships and I didn't realize that they were actually um, narcissistic relationships, controlling relationships. And I had to realize that I was controlling too many relationships and to own that and to own, yeah, to own the part of me that was controlling and to transform that and to understand that relationships don't work with control dynamics or it can't be fulfilling relationships if there are strong control dynamics happening. I changed my cycle of friends. I created healthy relationships. I created relationships where we could openly speak about how we felt, what was bothering us, if there were inappropriate needs that weren't met. I also needed to either get in touch with my needs to understand what to communicate to what I like to the other person, what I need. I learned how to trust. And the, yeah, the most important thing for me and that's just for me personally, and it can be different for everyone with the depression, is what was lacking in my life was healthy relationships. Coming from very unhealthy relationship dynamics um, in my family, I really took time and put effort into creating healthy relationships. And if a relationship was not, had no chance of becoming healthy, then I had to let it go but I received a lot more beautiful relationships, uh, healthy ones in my life. And yeah, and that was extremely important. And I let go of my doing, I have to do something to be worthy. That was a hard one. It took me a while to let go of that. But I just had to stop doing and deal with all the feelings that came up, knowing that they will come up. Yeah, so I'm trying to tell you 10 years of work in uh, 20 minutes, which is not going to give you the whole picture. I just wanted to let you know a little bit of my journey of curing my depression. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you have cured your own depression, please let me know because I would love to hear about it. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
and I hope to see you again. Thank you.